So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Broken arm! Broken arm! Broken arm! Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a killer beer. <laughs> oh, mama. Woo, wait till you see this one. <laughs> it's from the Dust Bowl Brewing Company. It's not coming out there too good. Our lighting is not so good here today. That's Bull Brewing Company. That's as good as it gets, baby. Yeah, they're in Turlock, California. This is the Supine Mega IPA. It's mega because it checks in at 14.4% alcohol by volume. If you look close enough there, you'll see that alcohol up there. <laughs> this was sent to me by my good beer friend Kathleen out there in California. Ooh, man, she sends me some killer beer from time to time. I'll tell you that much. Now, the only thing is that when I received this beer, I had so much beer in my fridge, and I always go by, yep, yeah, first in, first out, baby. First in, first out. So um, this beer had to sit for a little while until I got around to it. So unfortunately, it's 98 days old, but that's not ancient at all for an IPA, especially one that's in a can. Now, what makes this beer so unique is that it's brewed with a touch of champagne yeast, I don't recall if I've had this one before. I used to get Dust Bowl beer all the time from a company in San Diego. It was beeronthewall.com. Don't look it up because that, uh, unfortunately the company closed. And I got this glassware. I know you can't see it that well, but you'll see it better when the beer gets in. Yeah, man, I love their beers up until the time that company went out of business. Oh, look at that color. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to like this beer. It's got some pungent hop aroma. Oh, man. Pungent is not the word. It's got killer hop aroma. Oh, dank. Pine, resin, everywhere. Let's go ahead and straighten it out. This is a, uh, a regular, regular old pint glass, and that's a 16-ounce can. Oh, look at that beautiful copper color. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Oh, man. It's got some nice carbonation flowing up from the bottom. Didn't make a whole lot of head, but a, a, a beer that's 14.4% alcohol is not really going to make a lot of head. Now, I could make it have some foam, but there's no purpose to that. Citrusy. A little bit of tropical fruit in there. Mmm. I tell you, maybe some mango in there. Mmm, very, very uh, good uh, aromas off there. Hey, I want to thank the brewers there at Dust Bowl Brewing for all the hard work they did to make this lovely beer so guys like me can enjoy it. Many thanks to Kathleen again. And cheers at home. Mmm, man. Ooh, that alcohol just hit me. <laughs> I was enjoying that lovely tropical fruit. Oh, this color. I got to put it over here by the light so I can look at it. Oh, man. Look at that thing. Ooh, baby. <laughs> that beer is beautiful. I'm sorry. It doesn't do justice on the camera at all. I don't even think if I switch sides here. No. I got a lot of uh, LED lights on in here. And it's not the LED lights that's the problem. It's just the this really needs a nice bright light for it to shine through and not sunlight. Yeah, you don't want to take your beer outside and drink it. A lot of bad things can happen to beer outdoors. <laughs> I'll be getting into that series later this summer out on the balcony. Yeah, no doubt. You better take your time with this beer. You remember. It's 14.4%. Now, where's my stir stick? See, if you want to make a, a 
a nice presentation. You can always put your stir stick in here. Of course, you hold it away from the electronics, off to the side, no doubt. And voila, there you go. You can see our little logo up there, the Dust Bowl. Oh, yeah, I always thought that this brewery had some fantastic brews. Oh, man. Can't remember any of the names of them right offhand, but they did have an IPA that was killer. Oh, it wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. Oh, I got something in my eye. Just that fast, something flew in my eye. I tell you, right up front, you get some lovely uh, malts in there. A little bit of sweetness from uh, some tropical fruit in there. I'm going to say it's mango. And I know there's something else in there, but I can't quite pick out what it is. Tropical fruit, a little bit of citrus in there, a little bit of uh, maybe tangerine. Oh, man. Some dankness in there. Some pine resin. Oof. And then you got this killer dry finish on there. Oh, man. And that alcohol is definitely in there. It's it's warming me up a little bit. <laughs> this would be a good winter warmer, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy Kathleen sent this to me. You just don't know, Kathleen. I love these beers from Dust Bowl. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit more now. And remember, there's some age on this. But again, it's in a can. And it's been in my refrigerator the entire time I've had it. So that works in favor of the beer. Ooh, wee. <laughs> mm. I'm going to leave it at that, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and I'm really going to enjoy this beer and, and miss it when it's gone. I have to go online and see if I might be able to get this from front, one of those uh, San Diego beer distributors. There's quite a few uh, distributors out there in San Diego. I don't know what makes that a magnet out there, but they do mail order. Yeah, they do mail order. I'm going to show you the can one more time. Mega IPA. This is a pine mega IPA. There you go. Dust Bowl Brewing Company. I guess those are, are those tigers on there that are passed out? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'd be passed out too if I drank this beer too much too fast. <laughs> Hey, life is short. you got to be happy, my friends. And that includes drinking great craft beer like this one right here from Dust Bowl. Until we meet next time. Cheers.